If you have a problem with wolves or field raiders, go talk to one of the younger mercenaries. You can come to me when the paladins show up here. What? Whenever one of you peasants comes to me, it's always about slaughtering innocent beasts. I'm not a peasant. Oh? What is it you want, then? I want to become a mercenary. You look more like someone who'd been born to work in the field, boy. Can you wield a weapon, then? So, how about one-handed weapons? Well... And two-handed weapons, then? I can handle those. Well, at least you're not a damn beginner. All right, I'm gonna vote you in. Whatever else you need to know, you can learn from me. What are the advantages of one-handed or two-handed weapons? A good question. I see you've given the subject some thought. One-handed weapons are faster, but a little weaker. Two-handers cause more damage, but you can't strike as fast. Also, you need more strength to wield a two-hander. This means additional training. The only way to become really good is to invest a lot of effort. What should I learn first, one-handed or two-handed combat? Those two types of arms are rather similar. As soon as you reach the next level with one type of weapon, you automatically learn for the other as well. If, for instance, you're good at fighting with one-handed swords, but still a beginner with two-handed weapons, your two-handed skills will go up as well whenever you train with a one-hander. If you train with one type of weapon only, you'll find the training more exhausting. If you always train both, you'll arrive at the same result with less effort. In the end, the outcome will be the same either way. It's your choice. I've heard that you belong to the Ring of Water. What rat has not been able to keep his big trap shut? Lares said you could help me if I told you that I reside beneath his wing. Looks like I've got a deal with you now, doesn't it? All right, so what do you need? And be damn careful about what you tell me. For if I don't like what I hear, I just might skin you alive. You could help me to get accepted by the mercenaries. <laughs> I can just see it now. Right, I'll try. What else? That's all. That shouldn't be too hard. And woe betide you if I hear that you can't keep your trap shut. And I'm only saying this once, understand? Help me become a mercenary. Let me think. Hmm. You've got to get past Torloff if you want to make any progress here. Have you already seen Torloff about it? Not really. So go ahead. Take care of it and then come back here. Same old thing all over again. That was obvious all along. Will it ever change? Nobody, nobody, enough trouble nobody, as nobody it is. wants to know. It's a bad business. I'm better off myself. What do you want from me? That was obvious all along. Is it really true? I'm not, not touching that. that. Can you help me improve my abilities? I could show you how to use your strength better in close combat. A lot of fighters are very weak because they don't have the technique to use their strength properly. The same is true for dexterity and ranged weapons. I want to improve my abilities. I hardly know what to believe. And there's more, believe me. I agree with you completely. I can't believe that. Been there, done that. Good. Now you can use your abilities yeah, better. He really said that, but no, he insisted. I want to join the mercenaries. Oh, oh. and why do you think I should be in favor of you being accepted here? It's a bad business. Put me to the test. Did Lee send you to me? No. Then what are you blathering at me for? He listened to the that was people. obvious all along. That was obvious all along. Where did you pick that up then? Things I could tell you. 
Nobody will learn anything from me. That. He ran like that nobody wants himself to himself was after him. That's been known a long time. Uh, hey, hey about it. where do you think you're going? To the house, of course. Onar pays us not to let guys like you in here. I want to talk to Lee. <laughs> what do you want from him? I want to join the mercenaries. <laughs> Fresh cannon fodder. Then go on in. Lee's in the right wing. Don't even think about wandering around anywhere else. But above all, leave Onar alone. He doesn't like it when people talk to him without being asked. Especially not guys like you. All that matters is stress on bad business. Tell me that. You really didn't deserve that. Who are you? I am Onar's wife, Maria. What do you want here? I just wanted to have a look around here. With all these men on the farm now, there's no peace to be had inside the house. They just keep barging in here. Do the mercenaries bother you? Oh, well, at least the farm has been a lot safer since the mercenaries came. Back when we were still on our own, the militia came from town all the time to plunder our provisions. They dragged off the better part of the harvest, and they took some sheep, too. They did nothing for us in return. A few of those scoundrels even stole from us. So what did they steal from you? Mostly gold and silver. They even took my wedding present. A golden plate. I bet it's now gathering dust in the chest of some filthy city guard. Tell me about Onar. He's a good man. A little grumpy and very impatient, but we've all got our faults. I told my husband, why do you let the soldiers from the city treat you like that? Do something, I said. So he hired the mercenaries. Now I feel like I'm in the middle of a war. But then, we are at war, aren't we? Has anything exciting happened here lately? The paladins passed by here. At first, we thought they were going to attack the farm, but they were headed for the Valley of Mines. I have a golden plate here. Would this be yours? Yes, that is it. Thanks a million. So, what about my reward? Do you want to hire on as a mercenary here on the farm? Yes. All right, if you work here, then I shall see to it that you're getting a decent pay. Come back when you've discussed your pay with my husband. Who the devil let you in here? What are you doing here? I thought you were dead. What makes you think that? Gorn told me it was you who brought down the barrier. Yes, that was me, all right. I never would have thought that a man could survive something like that. What brings you here? You aren't here without a reason. I absolutely must talk to the paladins in town. Can you help me get to them? What's your business with the paladins? That's a long story. I've got time. <sighs> Zardos sent me on a mission. He wants me to obtain a powerful amulet, the Eye of Inos. So you're still allied to that necromancer. I see. And the paladins have this amulet? As far as I know, yes. I can help you get to the paladins, but first you need to become one of us. How can you help me get to the paladins? Trust me, I've got a plan. I think you're the right man for it. I'll take you to the Paladins, and you'll do me a favor, but first, join us. What exactly are you doing here? Quite simple. I'm gonna see to it that we all get off this island. Onar hired us to defend his farm, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. But our reward is more than just our pay. By helping the farmers, we cut the city off from its provisions. And the less the Paladins have to eat, the sooner they'll listen when I finally make them an offer of peace. What is your offer going to look like? Essentially, it will be about our pardons and free passage to the mainland. You'll learn more when the time comes. Gorn told you about me? What happened to him? You remember him, don't you? Sure. He got caught by the Paladins and was sent back to the Valley of Mines with a penal convoy. 
If the road to the Valley of Mines wasn't plastered with paladins and orcs, I'd have sent a couple of the boys already to free him. But the way things are, there's no point. Poor devil. I want to join you. I'd hope you say that. I can use every able man here. The last mercenaries I accepted have done nothing but stir up trouble. In principle, you can start right away. Well, first there's one or two things we need to get straight, but it's no big deal. What do I have to get straight before I can join you? Onar, the landowner, is the one who employs us. You can only stay on the farm with his approval. And then there's the boys. I can only accept you if a majority of the mercenaries agree that you join us. But don't go to Onar before everything is straightened out. He's a very impatient fellow. How can I convince the mercenaries to vote me in? By doing what is expected of you as a mercenary, I should say. Talk to Torloff. He's usually outside in front of the house. He'll put you to the test. If you can pass that, you should have earned a large part of the necessary respect. He'll tell you everything else you need to know. What do you know about the Ring of Water? <laughs> I might have known. You just have to mingle in everything, don't you? Come on, tell me. I'm only marginally involved in this. I know that this secret guild exists here and that the water mages are behind it. Since the fall of the barrier, I am no longer bound to the agreement I came to with the water mages back then. Of course I still help when I can, but most of the time I have my own problems and barely any time for other things. If you want to know more about it, you should probably talk to Cord. He's one of them, as far as I know. He thinks it's as easy as that. That's been known. Put me to the test. Did Lee send you to me? He said you would help me. Fine, so here we go. There are two things you have to do before you can join us. First, you have to prove that you're capable of mastering the tasks that you will have to fulfill as a mercenary. I'll put you to the test. And second, you have to earn the respect of the other mercenaries. Well, how can I earn the respect of the other mercenaries? For most of them, it'll be enough if you fulfill your task and pass my test. But you'll have to find some other way of convincing some of them. Some will try and exploit your situation, and others may not like your mug. You should try to get along with as many of the boys as possible. But if nothing else helps, then you can always take part in a duel. If you win, you'll earn the respect of most of them. But watch out that you don't kill one of them by accident, because then you'll have a big problem. What are the rules for a duel? Quite simple. Both opponents have to have the opportunity to draw their weapons before the first blow. You can't just go and belt one of the men without warning. There has to be some sort of spoken challenge, an insult, or another reason to fight. None of the other men will interfere in a fight like that, unless one of the two gets killed in the duel. And believe everything over and all over. That was obvious all along. What are my duties as a mercenary? Onar hired us for two reasons. He wants us to keep the militia off his back, and he wants us to keep things in order on his farms. That includes collecting the rent when the small farmers won't pay. So, what'll it be? I don't believe this is gonna change. I'll deal with the militia, don't worry. The farmer Bengar has complained that lately the militia from the city has been getting on his nerves. They're pressuring the farmer, probably trying to make him break with Onar. I want you to go to his farm and make it clear to the militia that they have no business there. Questions? How can I find Bengar's farm? In the southwest of the valley is a big stairway that leads to a high plain. That's where Bengar's farm is. If you get lost, the ask the farmers in the fields how to find your way around the area. Nobody ever asked for my opinion. You listened to the wrong Don't people. You didn't know that. Yeah, he got my own opinion about that. I can't believe that. You listened to the wrong people. Help me become a mercenary. Let me think. Hmm. You've got to get past Torloff if you want to... Have you already seen... Yes, that's with the test and everything. What test would that be? I'm supposed to drive the militia away from Bengar's farm. Ah, yes. That's easy. Listen, come back tomorrow. I'll have taken care of it by then. But you're going to have to do something for me in return. And what would that be? Not far from here, 
To the southeast, there's a small bandit camp in the mountains. If you go southeast from here, you'll soon see the tower there. One of my people, Patrick, left several days ago to do business with those varmints. Well, I told him it was a rotten idea, but that idiot wouldn't listen to me. I assume they've made short work of him, but I don't know for sure. You're gonna find out for me. And what makes you so sure that they won't make short work of me too? The fact that I know the name of their leader, it's Dexter. You'll simply claim that you know the guy. His men will think twice before they wring your neck just for the heck of it. It could still get dangerous, of course, but you can handle that. I'm supposed to deal with your militia problem. What? I told Onar he should send a couple of his mercenaries. This is my chance to prove myself. Terrific. <laughs> do you know what the militia will do to me if you screw it up? These bastards come by here once a week and collect the taxes for the city. It's a good thing you came just now. This is their usual time. They should be here any moment. Let the militia come then. I'll deal with them. I can't wait. Here they come now. See? I told you so. Just don't screw it up. That's really not my problem. Look at this one! Another joke! What are you doing here, huh? Who the hell are you? That's totally I'm your worst nightmare. You're a dead man. Don't tell me I didn't know that. Thank <laughs> you. 
There's so many of you. Why don't you just go up against the militia yourself? It's true that there's a lot of us, but we're not trained fighters like the militia. Your militia problem is a thing of the past. Not bad. Maybe there'll be something left over at the end of the month now for a change. Thanks. Balthazar the Shepherd isn't allowed on your pasture? Oh yeah, that story. I told him Sekob should pay me money if he wanted to lead the sheep into my pasture. To tell the truth, that's only harassment. I just can't stand Balthazar. That was obvious all along. That's totally obvious. That was no big deal. He never would have thought of that himself. I'm staying out of it. You mustn't believe everything you hear. Nobody get so much out of that. Nobody will learn anything from me. Same old thing all over again. I took care of Bengar's militia problem. Did you make sure that they won't be standing on his doorstep again tomorrow? They'd have a really hard time doing that. Well done. You passed your test. If you can handle a militia, most here will respect you. I'm not touching that. You listen to the wrong people. He really said that. He doesn't even know how to hold us. Ran like Beliar himself was after him. I can't believe that. Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? It's possible. I was in the colony too. Right. What do you want? How's the situation? Right now, we've got real trouble. Two factions are building up amongst us mercenaries. Silvio and his people doubt that Lee is following the right plan. How come there are two factions? Most of us came out of the colony with Lee back then, but some of the mercenaries hooked up with us later. They didn't come from the colony, but were farther south fighting the Yorks. Somehow they got wind that Lee needed people. Their leader was Silvio. He agreed that Lee was in charge, but now he's trying to stir up the mercenaries against him and his plan. A lot of Lee's people don't think that it's a big problem, but I know guys like Silvio. He'll go to extremes to realize his ideas. Do you know what Lee's intentions are? Lee wants us to wait and starve the paladins in the city. He is planning to get us all away from the island, and Enos knows I've got nothing against getting away from here. I don't really know how he's planning to go about it, but I trust him. He's led us well so far. 
Do you know what Silvio is planning? Silvio found out that some of the paladins have moved out to the old colony. He says the rest of the paladins wouldn't dare to attack us here and wants to take advantage of the situation. Plunder the small farms, waylay the militia patrols outside the city, hold up travelers, things like that. But Lee thinks that would be the worst thing we could do in our situation. I want to become a mercenary. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Where's the problem? Well, I either have to vote for you or against you. And in the situation we're in, I'll only vote for you if I can be sure that you're on Lee's side. So what should I do? Simple. Beat up a few of Silvio's boys. That way both sides will know exactly where you stand. And if you stick to the rules for a duel, you'll even win the respect of the others. What are the rules for a duel? Go to Torloff and let him explain it if you're interested. Just so we understand each other. I don't care if you stick to the rules or not. Just as long as the boys wind up out coal in the mud. Which of the mercenaries are Silvio's men? There are six men. First of all, Silvio himself and his right-hand man, Bulko. Then there's Rod, Sentenza, Fester, and Raoul. The rest of the people are either neutral or on Lee's side. How many of Silvio's people should I defeat? If you knock three of them to the ground, then you've proven which side you're on. Whom you choose is your business. Just one little hint. This isn't about proving your courage. Don't go up against Silvio himself. He'll make mincemeat out of you. What are you doing here in my kitchen? Something smells delicious here. Oh, yes. I know the likes of you. They're swarming all over the place. First, they try to get on your good side, and then when you need them, they're nowhere to be seen. I'm hungry. I don't dish out food to tramps. I only feed people who work. And that mercenary riffraff, of course. It can't go on like this forever. I'm looking for work. You want to work here on the farm? Only Onar can decide that. The farm is his, and so is the entire valley. Actually, I was planning to join the mercenaries. So you're another of those felons from the penal colony? I might have known. Just leave me alone. There's already enough of your kind around here. Who said that? I need a place to sleep. Don't even think about sleeping in my kitchen. Go find yourself a place in the barn. What's your problem with the mercenaries? Ah, those morons really get on my nerves, especially Silvio and his fat buddy Bulko. The two of them have been sitting in their corner for days now, making life miserable for me. The soup's too hot, the meat's too tough, etc. and so forth. Then why don't you do anything about it? And what am I to do, Mr. Smarty Pants? Whack them with my rolling pin? I can do that to the farmers, but these lowly bastards just hit back. Want me to teach the two of them some manners? You better not try that, no honey. Really as far as I know, that. Silvio has magic armor. He can't be defeated. What about Bulko? That guy is as strong no as an ox. Really so far, that. he has flattened anyone who tried to mess Nobody with him or that. Silvio. Nobody wants to know. That's all just gossip. That's all just gossip. Hey, you! How are things? What do you want from me, weenie? Can you teach me how to handle two-handed weapons? Listen, boy. It takes a lot of strength to wield a two-handed weapon. Why don't you slink off to the pasture for a game of Ring Around the Rosie with a sheep? I am strong enough. Nonsense, you couldn't even lift a decent sword like mine. I said I am strong enough. Oh, you're killing me. Wanna risk a little bet? No one really I bet I can handle your sword. Really? Hmm. How much should I relieve you of? Well, you look like a poor sucker. Let's make it 30 gold pieces. Do you even have that much? Sure. Let me see, then. Here. All right, let's see how strong you are. About this strong. Looks like you got me there. 
I never expected that. You really don't look like you have that much strength in you. Well, I guess I just lost 30 gold pieces. Here you are. Now, give me back my weapon. I think not. What was that? I think I'm going to keep it a little longer. Just you wait, you bastard. They're smashing each other's skulls! Show them who's boss! Show them who's yourself. boss! Nobody Go ahead, on. hit back! Watch out! Hang Show on! Who's boss! Not bad at all. And there's more to believe in what he himself was in. In there, not bad. I'm staying out of this hole. Don't you there's try more. that again. Wait a minute. All right, you win. What do you want? Here's your sword back. High time, too. I want to join the mercenaries. Okay, I don't carry grudges. You can fight, and that's what counts. Most of the lads here think nothing of a little brawl amongst friends. You'll get used to that. As far as I'm concerned, you're in. Can you teach me how to handle two-handed weapons? I'm not a bad fighter, but that doesn't mean I'm a good teacher. Still, I think I can show you the basics of two-handed combat anyway. Well, I want to improve my two-handed fighting skills. Come back once you have more experience. You're getting better already. You don't have to tell me that. I hardly know what to believe anymore. What do you want this time? It's all just gossip. He really should have known better, so I'm sure. Methinks I'm gonna punch you in the face. What? That's exactly what you need right now. I've been too nice to you so far, haven't I? Let him have it! Slug him! Finish him! Slug him! Slug him! Watch out! Finish him! Finish him! Let him have it! I'm not touching this. Tell me that isn't true. You hardly know who to believe these days. That's been a long time. Well, see about that. All right, all right, you win. What do you want? I'd like to become a mercenary here. Do you mind? Ah, do whatever you want. Sooner or later. That will never change. That's a bad business. What's up? Uh, since Onar announced he was hiring mercenaries, the court's been overflowing with nothing but rogues. All the rabble who didn't have the guts to come out of the woods before are here now. The bastards really came from everywhere. The mercenaries came from everywhere? Most of them came from the penal colony. Another group of mercenaries came from the south, where they were probably hunting orcs. I bet that a few of the bandits from the mountains have shown up as well by now to get a free meal. Huh. You didn't know that. What's up? Uh, all the the bastards. Nothing amazes me anymore. You anything new? Hey, doing all right? Hey, I know you from the colony. What do you want here? That's all just gossip. I've come to join you. Why not? 
I've got nothing against it. Anyway, you freed our mind from the guards back then. But don't count on getting along with the others here so easily. A lot of newbies have come along since then. And some of the old mercenaries won't remember you. I almost didn't recognize you. You look rather haggard. When the barrier fell, I barely got away with my life. Looks like you got lucky then. Do you have anything to sell? Oh, don't ask. Bennett, one of the new guys, takes care of the weapons and armor now. In the colony, I was responsible for Lee's entire weapons store. And then along came a trained smith and pow, I'm out of a job. I desperately need a new job, even if all I do is guard the farms out there. I don't care, just as long as I'm not twiddling my thumbs here anymore. Nobody wants to know. Can you teach me anything? I can teach you a few tricks in handling a bow if you want. I don't have anything better to do right now anyway. Where did you pick get away with that? I hardly know what to believe anymore. Have you tried finding a job in town? In the city? <laughs> Wild horses couldn't drag me there. Or do you think I would want to work there as a militia soldier? I can just imagine myself in the courtier's uniform. And then that obsession with obedience. Nah, forget it. There may not be anything to do here on the farm, but at least I can do what I want. That was obvious all And? Found a new task yet? Not so far. Let me know if you have a job for me. Hello, pretty girl. Hmm. Just where did you escape from? They say you are revolting against the king. My father has decided that it's time we defended ourselves. The militia never helped us anyway. They only came here to drag off our provisions. What kind of work is to be had here on the farm? My father pays money to all the men who help defend the farm. Are you interested? You don't look like someone who has a passion for field labor. How much does your father pay? You'd have to negotiate that with him. All I know is that each mercenary here gets paid every day. Are there any rules here that I should stick to? You don't touch anything here that isn't yours. You stay away from the areas that are none of your business. And if you must pick a fight, stick to the mercenaries. If you start a brawl with the farmers, everybody here will be against you. What's your job here? I sell the goods that we produce. If you want to buy something, just let me know. But let me warn you, I won't stand for either haggling or stealing, understood? Show me your wares. What can I offer you? Got my own opinion all over again. Has anything significant happened lately? Nobody will learn anything. A few days ago, my father decreed that we're no longer allowed to sell anything in town. So now I'm staying here on the farm and selling my wares to visitors only. Of course we got you must believe everything you hear. How are things? Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? It's possible. I used to deal in swamp weed back in the colony, remember? And what are you dealing in now? Ah, don't ask. I brought a whole package of swamp weed with me from the mining colony. Many of the mercenaries like a little smoke now and then. I've earned a small fortune on the side. But some bastard stole all the weed from my chest. I'm pretty sure it was that Bodo. He bunks in the same room as me, and he always grins at me like such an idiot. <laughs> what are you going to do about the thief, then? One of these days, I'll catch him puffing away on my weed, and then I'll find a quiet spot and teach him a lesson he won't forget. If I knock him down here in the middle of the yard, the other farmers will notice, and I'll pay an arm and a leg. How come? Quite simple. We can't rough up the farmers, otherwise Lee makes us pay a heavy fine. That's the way Onar wants it. And the more witnesses there are, the more of a fuss there is. That makes things more expensive. So I'll pull the thing off nice and inconspicuously. All that matters is a bad business. How's it going? The militia has bullied us long enough. Now that the mercenaries are on our side, they won't dare to just show up here anymore. The king may think he can get away with anything, but we're not going to take it anymore. Don't tell me you didn't know that. Cypher told me somebody stole a package of swamp weed from him. And? He thinks you're the one who took it. Oh, that's why the guy is always gopping at me so stupidly. I've been extra friendly to him lately because he seems to have hit a rough spot. But there was nothing I could do. I'd look at him friendly-like and he'd stare at me like he wanted to kill me. I agree with you completely. That's the first I've heard of it. 
That's not what I heard. Why haven't I heard about that? Where did you pick that up? Of course we got him in the end. Can't rely on that. What are you smoking there? Want a toke? No. Where did you pick that up then? Do you do anything besides smoke? Not at the moment. I want to join the mercenaries. Do you mind? Who cares? Have you ever tried shroom tobacco? Sounds interesting. Give it here. All right, here we go. Nobody ever asked for my opinion. There's more, believe me. That was obvious all along. That's exactly what I said. Have you ever smoked that stuff yourself? Well... Have you or haven't you? I've been sort of busy. Oh, shit. Holy Robar. That stuff is way too harsh. Don't even try it. Cypher told me that someone stole a package of swamp weed from him. <laughs> Would you know anything about that? No. Where's the package? What do I know? I'll knock it out of you. Relax, I'm way too stoned to fight with you. Here, first take a big toke. Just you... Well, we'll see the next time. Wait a minute. Where's the package? Okay, okay, okay. I sold it to some bum in town. It was at the harbor. I can't remember what he looked like. Could it be that you need another thrashing? This <laughs> man, I was totally stoned. I don't have the slightest idea what the guy looked like. It was at the harbor near the boat builders. That's all I can remember. You already know what I think. Been there, done that. Is it really true? It's all just gossip and no. That's totally it's unheard, unheard of. of thing. Thing. You mustn't believe, believe everything you hear. Hey, you! I couldn't have nothing amazing more than a great change. really have known better. I know who took your weed. Who? Was it that Bodo? No, one of the mercenaries did it. Dar. That bastard. Where is he? Finding him won't help you. He doesn't have the package anymore. He sold it in Carinus. Where is he? Behind the kitchen building on the corner. I'll flatten him. You poor sucker. He didn't even have any gold on you. Wait a minute. You really gave Dar what for? Are you feeling better now? Yeah, that felt good. Not to him, I suppose. The little beggar has no business going through well, my chest. we'll see the next time. Would this package of swamp weed happen to be yours? Well, I'll be... Where'd you get that? It's a long story. Doesn't matter. Really, you're a decent guy. Here, take this as a reward. Have fun with it. First, let me roll a few. I want to join Lee's people. Lee's people? If Lee keeps on this way, they soon won't be his anymore. Why? Lee has always been a quiet one. It was that way in the colony, too. But lately, he's overdoing it. He just wants to sit here and wait until the paladins drop dead from starvation. Silvio thinks we should clean up a bit on the small farms and outside the city. I think that would make for an excellent change. At the moment, most of us are just twiddling our thumbs here. Do you want to join up anyway? I want to become one of you no matter what. 
You already know that we take a vote on every new recruit. What are you hinting at? Well, I haven't had anything to smoke in a long time. Bring me a few swamp weed reefers and you got my vote. You can surely scare some up someplace. About the swamp weed? You brought back my packet. Now everything will be all right. I'm certainly going to vote for you. Blabbermouth, you told Cypher I took his weed. Like hell will I vote for you. I wouldn't be so sure I would have thought of that himself. You listened to the wrong people. I used to say that myself. So you didn't know that.